Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. The Carmen Ghia is still in progress, but today I've got a new project vehicle that I'm really excited about. This is a 1976 FJ40 Land Cruiser, and while it runs, it needs a lot of work. But it also has a ton of potential for projects, and so we're gonna do the first project today. That's gonna be a grill and a table that folds down off the spare tire. Let's give it a shot. This Land Cruiser is from 1976. It's a 46 year old vehicle and you can tell. Luckily it runs pretty well and I've only had to do a little bit underneath the hood to make sure that it runs consistently. I also got some new tires from Goodyear Tire. They're sponsoring this video and so we're gonna tell you more about those tires later on. But even with it running, this thing needs a lot of work. There's rust on every surface. The interior is in terrible shape. The weather stripping is gone so all the doors leak. But luckily, those are all things we can fix, and we've got a lot of potential for new projects on this thing. Let's head to the back, and I'll show you what we're gonna do today. I wanna make a table that can fold down off the spare tire that holds a grill. So we're gonna use these existing mounting points right here for the spare tire. We're gonna mount some sort of a contraption on that that has a fold down table, and underneath the table, there's gonna be a grill that you can pull out and set on the table so we can take this thing to the park, take it camping, go tailgating, whatever, and cook some food on the go. I've got a rough idea how this is gonna to go together, but I need to figure out all the specifics so I can buy material, so let's go to Fusion 360. So the idea started here in this piece of paper. I figured out kind of how I wanted this whole thing to mount to the existing spare tire holder, how the table was going to mount to that, and then how the grill was going to fit in the table. Once I had the ideas and some rough measurements here, I took a diffusion. So now we have everything pretty much laid out here. We've got the table that folds down. We've got the grill that's mounted on the underside. And for now, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the table because the first thing we need to make is actually the mount that attaches to the vehicle. This entire first section is gonna be made out of steel. It's mostly square tubing, but then there's this plate that's quarter inch steel, needs to be really strong to mount to the vehicle. So I need to start with that piece. It doesn't necessarily need to be a circle. It just needs to have the right hole pattern. So first, let's go cut this piece out. I got all the corners cut off this piece and now I need to figure out how to put the holes in it. And they're in kind of a weird spot. So what I did was take a piece of cardboard out to the vehicle, traced the backside of the bolts and then transferred those to a piece of paper. So now I have the bolt pattern relative to the top edge and I've got the center of each one of these bolts marked and then drew some lines to find the center point between all of the bolts. That's important because I'm gonna use that to transfer it to my piece of steel so that I can keep all these in the right orientation to the top. Basically, I'm gonna move some dots. Now, to make the frame for this, I'm using some square tube. This is stuff I already had, and I think it's actually gonna work pretty well. It's a good size, and have some smaller stuff to add gussets, but first, we have to cut these pieces down to the right length. I got all these pieces cut. This is really simple. I'm gonna be basically making an upside down T, and then putting this connector piece on, that's gonna to connect to the plate. And then I'll have to come back and put in some gussets, kind of diagonals to keep this thing strong because it's gonna have some weight hanging on it. And so I just need to weld these together before I put on the gussets. So, welding montage. I got these angles put on so it's nice and supported in that direction, but I still have one more to do. And this is gonna kinda keep it from folding down against the truck accidentally. So I've gotta weld this one on and then that plate that we just finished up is gonna get welded right there. So I'm gonna get all this stuff squared up, make sure that everything is in the position that it should be, and then I'll tack it together and finish up the MIG welding. 
I mentioned earlier that we were going to tell you more about these tires. These are the Wrangler Workhorse HT from Goodyear. And the reason I chose these is because I don't really need like a big knobby rock crawling tire or a snow tire. I need something dependable that's going to get me from my house to the office and the office to the farm and back to the house. So no matter whether it's raining or sleeting, these are going to give me traction in wet conditions in all of those different places. It's a fantastic tire. Plus, it's going to last a really long time. This has a 60,000 mile limited tread life warranty on it. And so this is going to last me for quite a while on this particular vehicle. On top of that, this is not an overly expensive tire. It's a great deal for this tire that you can put on your truck or your SUV and get you all the places that you need to go. But in addition to that, they've given us a promo code that we can pass along to you for all Goodyear tires. Big thanks to Goodyear for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the build. Okay, so this is pretty much all of the MIG welding I have to do other than some little stops that are gonna stick down here. We'll get to those later on. But I wanna make sure that this actually fits on, that it clears the tire and everything looks good. And I think it's actually perfect. So the only other thing that I've done here off camera is make some little caps. I 3D printed these just by measuring the square tubing and they should fit, but I actually haven't tested them yet. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So now I've got caps that'll seal up this section and the two bottom sections just to keep rain out. And if I ever decide I wanna take those out and weld something else in, I have the option. The big reason I'm using aluminum is simply for weight. I've got a tabletop and some understructure and using aluminum is gonna make it a lot lighter overall. But the downside of that is that I have to be able to weld that together. For that, I'm gonna use my TIG welder, which I don't have very much experience with, and TIG welding aluminum is one of the more difficult types of TIG welding, and I've only got a very tiny bit of experience with that. So, this is one of those places where I'm just gonna to have to take my time, do some research, do some practice before I actually get into putting these pieces together. But before I can put them together, I've gotta to actually cut them. A long time ago, I found a deal on a really big sheet of eighth inch aluminum. And so we're going to use this. I've already got a strip of it cut down. And what I'm going to try to do here is use the table saw, which cuts aluminum fine. I have a saw stop, so I have to disable the safety feature. But I should be able to rip this piece into two long sections. And I can take one of those sections and fold it into the box. So the first experimentation here for me is going to be trying to get this cut and folded in the right place to make the box for the grill to go in. I went ahead and got the tabletop cut and got the corners knocked off, basically because I'm procrastinating, because this entire box section, I wanted to do out of one piece. Basically, I need to fold this into a U shape that can be mounted on the underside of this. I don't have a great way to fold it, and I'm a little bit worried about not getting it quite right, and if I don't get it right, then I have to start over with three pieces to make up the box, which would be fine. I just like to do things the hard way. So basically, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna find the center point, measure out to where the two folds need to be, and then probably use a vise to help fold those pieces. I just have to make sure that the internal space is exactly the same as the grill that's gonna go in here. A really long time ago, <clears throat> I made a metal brake out of some two by fours and angle iron and stuff. And I've only used it once or twice, but I actually think it would work pretty well for this. So we're gonna give it a shot. I can't procrastinate anymore. Now I have to actually go do the TIG welding. I wanted to kind of show you what the idea here is, even though we've looked at the model. This box is gonna be welded down to the bottom side of the table, and then I've got these little gussets that are gonna go on right here, and that's gonna give this outer lip of the table a little bit of support in case you were leaning on it or something. So I've got a few of these things to put on. I've gotta put this box on and then some plates across the top to lock it all together. But basically, I just have to do a bunch of TIG welding and I have to focus and take my time. So let's go weld. Now 
Uh, okay, so the problem with this is that uh, the more heat you put into it, uh, it starts to deform, uh, which separates the pieces. So you can't stay in one place, but I don't know how to get it to work quickly. Dang. Come on. It's not gonna work. Ah! How do you do this? I actually spent a lot of time practicing before I even took a shot at this. I spent a lot of time trying to get this to work and I just don't have the skill to weld this much aluminum right now. So I'm gonna come back to that in the future, but just so that we can keep the project moving along, I just recreated the entire thing in steel. It is a little bit heavier, but it's also a thinner material, so that kind of helps with some of the weight. This is basically the structure of the table. The only thing we have to do is put a piece right here to make the full channel for the grill to go down in. So I've got this piece, I'm gonna weld that on, and then we can connect the table to the mount. Okay, so the table's pretty much done, I believe, and next I just need to attach it to this. I'm gonna use some simple hinges. These do have a zinc coating on them, which is not great for welding, but I'm gonna do a couple of tacks and so have some ventilation on, it should be good. But basically, I need to line up this surface and the table surface, so I'm gonna have to space these a little bit, and a hinge is gonna set across them so that when we wanna fold the table up, the hinge will just pull it up into the upright position. Um, so I gotta get these on the same plane, and then we'll weld on the hinges, then we can move on to a really simple way to keep it in that vertical position. Now we just need to figure out a way to put some sort of a strap from this mounted part over the table, over the grill, and connect down here somewhere so everything will be locked together. And so I think I'm gonna make a couple little brackets, put one back in here, one up in here, and then some sort of a strap that we can kind of cinch tight. So I'm gonna figure that out, then we can get this thing painted and finally put it on the Land Cruiser. This thing's finally finished, and it is a little heavier than we were hoping because I had to move to steel, but I think it's done enough that we can mount it to the truck and go try it out. I ran into some hiccups along the way. The aluminum welding was a problem, but that's definitely something I wanna revisit in the future because I want that skill and I wanna be able to use it in future projects. But as far as this thing turning out like I was expecting, serving its purpose, it's awesome. I'm really excited to be able to use this to tailgate when my kids are playing sports, to take the whole family camping and have a place to cook. It's pretty fantastic and I hope it gave you some ideas for a project that you could make maybe for your vehicle. Don't forget about that promo code that we have for the Goodyear tires and big thanks to Goodyear for sponsoring this video. Now it's time for bloopers. Thanks for watching. I've got the center marks point, center, center points marked. I've got the center part. <laughs> I've already done a few things to it. I've replaced a couple electrical, I replaced a couple electrical component. Dang it, that's hard to say. <laughs> you did it. Okay. <laughs>